All right, guys, I, you guys need to watch this. This is the cast of The Acolyte, all right? And what they're about to say right now, I feel like they're over-promising. They're, they're hyping it up way too much, dude. They're hyping it up way too much. I'm already apprehensive about the show. I'm already, I'm, I feel like most people don't really, are already checked out. And they don't have high hopes for the show at all. They have low hopes. Their expectations are so low that they're probably not even going to watch the show. Um, <laughs> but what they're about to say here, I mean, judging from what we've seen in the previous Disney Plus shows, I do not see how this is even possible. Let me, l let's hear what they got to say right now. You tread, tread lightly, y'all. you we can love say... that sequence with Qui-Gon. You're gonna love this. Um, and Obi-Wan and Darth Maul. Yeah, I think you're gonna enjoy this show. Mm. Yeah. I will say too, not to shade, uh, I we have a lot more tangible, mm. Um, mm. physical moves than I saw in that fight too, as badass. Did, okay. So they just said that if we really like the Duel of Fates and the Phantom Menace, we're going to like this show. We're going to really like this show. And then now this guy is saying, hey, not to shade, but we have a lot more tangible physicality to our fights. So maybe they're going to have a bit more, I don't know if they're going to do some Jedi Jiu Jitsu or what, if they're going to be <laughs> doing some grabbing, some pushing, probably more of that, right? But the fact that they are aligning their choreography, their fight scenes with the Duel of Fates and the Phantom Menace. I mean, all right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because the last time I've watched a fight scene, a lightsaber fight scene in any Disney thing, it was trash. Obi-Wan Kenobi series, that series was such a letdown with those glow stick looking lightsabers and that choreography that was so bad. Oh my gosh. I, 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 don't under, I, I can't see it. I can't, I can't see. I can't see. Dude, do you remember the behind the scenes in the prequel trilogy? How much they trained to the point where they're, they bent their blades? Do you, do you really think these people are going to train as much as Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor did for that episode three fight. Obi that Obi Wan and Darth Maul fight in the Phantom Menace, they literally had to slow it down because they had trained it so much that they were, they were fighting too fast. Do you really think it's going to be on that same level? I do not think. I I I can pretty much guarantee it's not going to be at that level. And the fact that they're saying, hey, hey, if you like that, you're gonna if you like that, you're gonna love this. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, so who knows? Who knows? But if I'm going to go off past experiences, I it's not going to come close. It's not even going this show, this the fights in this show are not we're not gonna come even close to the duel of fates. Mm -hmm. I might be dead wrong, but that's what I think. Then I saw in that fight too, as badass as it is, there's a lot more grounded work that goes into our stunt training mm -hmm. and our stunt. Um, yeah. I mean, that fight was pretty grounded. We have an awesome stunt team too that are awesome. doing so much without cables, uh, without CGI, without um, a lot of effects. I mean, that's and good. It makes it. Uh, it makes the fight seem so much more visceral. Yeah. Truly. I, I mean, can, yeah, I've okay, been that, that's hit good. Head a couple times. I know you but again, been hit in the head a couple times. I know. A bunch of yeah, times. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that will be reflected. It was also, I, I think, think there's like this element of with that. there's a lack of guns, which I personally, as someone who loves like fighting and stunts and stuff, I love because it just it gives Makes you that sense. body to it's body. It's about the Sith. There's going to be um, more like lightsaber combat. That kind of like. And that would normally make me excited. Hey, less guns, more lightsabers. But the lightsabers look like trash. The lightsabers look bad. The lightsabers f from the Mandalorian, from the Ahsoka show, from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, they look like glow sticks. Okay? The lightsabers in, even in the sequel trilogy look better, right? The lightsabers from the prequel trilogy, like, the Disney Plus lightsabers look so bad. They look, they look like glow sticks. And they are glow sticks, which is why they look like glow sticks dance feeling of like it actually looks like a real fight as opposed to just I point and I shoot which is kind of like an easy cop-out in a way we get a lot of that like a 
blaster fights, gun fights are not a cop out. It's just a completely different style. It'll be a completely different style, of choreography of action. I mean, using a gun, use like gun fights in movies are not. It's not a cop out. Body to body, we have a lot of the sabers, and they've like the way. Chris but Pine I do prefer. I prefer. I would prefer. And all of these uh, melee combat to we have. Ranged Hitchcock combat. Have choreographed it is in such like, a beautiful over blasters way. Any day for it's, me. The, it's like visually stunning. Like we watched some stuff the other day, and it was just gorgeous. And then we have a bunch of yeah. They're setting the bar high. It's visually stunning. It's gorgeous. I don't know, man. I do not know about that. I. I mean, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything yet. But judging from, <laughs> judging from uh, the their their track, you are their track record. I don't know. I'm talking about the lightsaber combat, right? I mean, we've seen the CG is good. Andor looked great. The fights as well, where there are no sabers, where it's just like. Hmm. Full on, like, yeah, I can't say much, but it's it's also really fun that it does look so they're punching really each just other, like gritty just and lightsabers. real, and it really feels like a, it. like a fight. Like if you compare it to like Andor, it's Andor is very a mature yeah. type of vibe and frequency, mm -hmm. and I don't know if little kids got a lot of. I mean, I'm sure they did. Andor like, was good. If you guys haven't I watched think, Andor, Andor was uh, actually maybe I'm good. Just biased, but it I think, doesn't feel like George Lucas Star Wars. But again, my opinion, George Lucas Star Wars, that's canon Star Wars, episodes one through six. Everything else is not canon. Um, so Andor is not canon in my mind. Um, any, of this, on any of this Disney Star Wars stuff is not canon in my mind. Um, and Andor, I'm fine with stuff like Andor because I don't consider it canon. And so I'm fine with it not feeling like Star Wars, right? So if they want to do some interesting, you know, uh, suspense thriller type Star Wars, I'm, I'm cool with it. And it, and it was a good show with our show you can really enjoy it with the, the, your whole family yeah. and really understand everything and, and really just be entertained i think that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing with our i show. mean that's what There's star wars is right it's uh, a high entertainment value yeah. i truly think too this is a response all ages. to the fans and what they've been what they want what they've been yeah. calling for mm -hmm. throughout all the shows which have been incredible and layering outside i mean okay let's see what he has to say because i feel like the things that we've heard about this show isn't really what the fans want. Out of all the realms that we know from yeah. Star Wars for so many years, but I, even as a fan, have been asking for more aliens, more Jedi, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. more tangible worlds, okay, stuff more like that. built. Okay, yeah. um, less green screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah less yeah, green yeah. screening, all this kind of stuff. Okay. And I think yeah, those are all good things. Was, I mean, just knowing Leslie too, being a playwright, yeah. being based around structure, she wanted to build all of that into one production and give it to the fans as a thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, and you know, I think that's a lot to live up to. I hope that we can. Yeah. <laughs> but. The stuff that we watched felt very much. You, you guys, you're saying like a lot to live up to when you guys are hyping it up which right I here. Love, mm. Which is, I don't know, it has yeah. like that kind of like. So you see like little feel. strings on some of the ships basically because <laughs> yeah. we ran out of money. Uh, we, um, did, we did run out of money. Yeah, we ran out. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're out. <laughs> well, I, I hope you guys had enough I, money. I hope you guys had enough money to finish the show, and the show was actually really good. Um, but I don't have high hopes. I I, I got to be honest. I don't have high hopes for this show. I don't have high hopes for anything that comes out, Star Wars. I really don't. Um, but I'm still curious about it. I'll see what I'll see what it's about. I'm gonna I'll watch it. I'll see what it's about. If it's good, if it's not. Um, but we'll see, man. They're really s trying to set the bar high by, by comparing themselves to the Duel of Fates and the Phantom Menace. Um, but let me know, what do you guys think about the show? Are you looking forward to this show? Um, are you curious about it? Do you think the lightsaber battles are going to be Duel of Fates level? Let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think about that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.